So I get into a fight with this dude. I believe this is Lucian Greaves. It ain't about dead babies. It's about missing teens in Ohio who are directly connected to the satanic Nazi CA ring that just got busted in September, which was reported in the news. This, this was what it was. You can go find the article. It's out there. The FBI busted them. Okay, so I get into this argument, and I leave this. And then this happens. Within 10 minutes of posting that and sending it to that P.O. Derek, he joins my Twitter account. So let's break down this name. I am capitalized. The dude has a God complex. And who the fuck do you think is protecting him? Because this is him, but this is also him. And this is also him. You think this dude could be getting a hold of your teens and asking them for weird ass videos? Do you think this dude is capable of it? Because my experience is he's more than capable of it. And it was after doing this video that he came onto my Twitter, I am protected. And it's been joyous because now he's gone through and liked certain videos on my Twitter with the name I am protected. I can't be touched. But let me point out something to you, Lucian. You sent this to me in 2017. It's now 2023, and I'm obviously still alive, despite all of your attempts. And I didn't go to jail, and I wasn't lobotomized in a mental institution, and you haven't killed me with your directed energy weapons. So obviously, I'm protected as well. So let me ask you a question, dumbass. Your group going to protect you from this? This? Are they going to protect you? Do you feel safe? Because if this hits, the moment after it does, your ass is going to get claimed. Along with all their fucking asses. And if you look at the very last picture, that's what's directed at Earth. You know? So if you think you can bypass that and your group can protect you, Great, but chances are they're going to be running just like you. And just so anybody thinks that his I am is connected to God, the picture of a, of a U.S. Marshal, which is how they can blow up a gas station and get my sheriff, Neil Gross, to lie about it. Because again, here is the police report for that gas station explosion that they tried to murder me with in Erland. There's a question that I have with this thing. Dan was able to get out of the gas station and then go back in the gas station to get his brother-in-law to get them both out before the second explosion. But if there was only one explosion, how is that even possible? Did the law of physics just not work that day? Are the law of physics different in Erling, Iowa than they are everywhere else? You know, did someone wave Harry Potter's magic wand and make it all happen like that? You know, no. But they'll flaunt their shit because they think they're protected. But when you're thinking about Lucian Greaves, this is the same guy who argues you can stick your privates in a baby's mouth and it doesn't cause any neurological damage. So you think he could be at your teenagers? Hmm. Kind of a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. He's anticipating he can't be touched, that no one can investigate him, because it's the government that is protecting him. That's the whole reason why when Isaac Cappy went off that bridge, no one investigated. That's the whole reason why when Lori King committed suicide no one investigated it's the whole reason why they were able to blow up a gas station do a terrorist event because those two men in there would have died let alone the entire block i was on and i don't find it coincidental that i didn't even hear the first blast because i had just put my head under the water naked 
in the shower. So I would have been naked in the shower when that debris hit my house. But I've been protected with all of their crap that they've tried to do to me. I'm still here fighting. But the reason why this dude will do what he wants to do and feel like no one can stop him is because he's protected. But let me point out something to you. He ain't ever gonna stop until he gets stopped. Flat out. So the Ohio teens that are missing, that's just the tip of the iceberg, you know? And as far as what I know about this dumbass, he hasn't even started yet. So if you give a shit about kids, your kids, you may want to see this dude stopped, investigated, but then maybe not. I don't, can't tell anymore with all this shit.